Welcome to another video on firmware updates for the Connects Gateway. In this video, we're talking about firmware version 105. We're very excited to be announcing some changes to our Wi-Fi functionality, our Modbus functionality, um, a, an exciting new implementation of the IEEE 2030.5 uh, communications protocol, and uh, some major updates or significant updates to cloud connectivity. Let's start off by talking about the changes we've made in terms of Wi-Fi or wireless connectivity. In previous videos, we spoke about the access point functionality, which allows a user to connect wirelessly to the gateway's wireless um, hotspot. In version 105, we're pleased to announce that we've now added um, full support for connecting the gateway to a wireless network. We refer to this as wireless station mode. So you're now able to connect your gateway to your home network and um, then use the, the wireless connection to push data from the gateway through to Connects Insight 2 or to use your home network to access the Connects Gateway's local user interface without running cables or a hardwired connection. This will make it a lot easier to set up your gateway, um, connect the gateway to your home network. The next exciting feature set that I want to discuss is the implementation of uh, Modbus Slave. Both are TCP. Um, the first one is accessible through port 502. And through port 502, you'll be able to um, access uh, device and system level SunSpec based Modbus registers. We'll be publishing the Modbus maps for these registers on our website soon. On port 503, we've added support for our legacy Modbus maps. And what we mean when we say legacy is um, the Modbus maps that were accessible on the Combox. And what this will mean is if you've set up a system that controls devices through the Combox, should be able to swap out the com box with the gateway and um, with minor changes your system will keep running. A feature that we've also added to the XW uh, Pro and that works through the gateway is the external power control mode. Um, external power control mode refers to the ability to use Modbus commands or instructions um, to tell your inverter when it should sell, um, when it should charge or discharge the battery bank you can do this using Modbus, so using an external controller um, that communicates with the gateway over Modbus to instruct your, your inverter how to behave. Um, this external power control mode will also be supported through the IEEE 2030.5 protocol, meaning that when utilities want to interact with our systems or your system, whether it be storage or solar, um, they'll be able to do so and uh, control a lot more in terms of how the inverter interacts with the grid. Finally, and I'm going to stay very brief on this, um, a number of improvements have been made in the gateway firmware to support better connectivity to the cloud, um, improve how events are handled at the cloud and on the gateway side, um, and also to make sure that the gateway and cloud are ready for a mobile app that we'll be announcing and releasing in the next couple of weeks. Thank you all for watching and uh, we look forward to coming back to you again soon with another video with further updates. Thank you.